This week's video on the lightning rods build looks at the wiring that will carry things like the hall signals, throttle and display data to and from the ASI controller. To overcome ergonomic issues with the standard Molex connectors, I designed a new version which directs the wiring at a 90 degree angle in a more useful direction. Before we get onto the plugs though, I want to give a huge thanks to Francis and the crew at Electron Cycles for donating these awesome body panels for the LR bike. Electron are very well regarded in the e-bike scene and I'm honoured to have their support in this project. Links to them will be in the description. I also have a few pics of the LR motor which is nearing completion. It looks absolutely fantastic. Just a few last bits to get finished including the welds for the swing arm extensions and the mounting block for the disc brake caliper and then it should be heading north to Canada. I've also put a lot more information on the lightning rods bike on my website so if you want to read more, you can use the link in the description for that too. The rest of the video though is going to be talking about these plugs and how they'll help with mounting the ASI. So if you have this controller or are thinking about using one, then perhaps these will make your life a little easier. I really like the ASI controllers, but they're not the easiest things to mount, particularly for e-bikes. One of the biggest challenges is always what to do with the large Molex plugs which carry the harness wires. It's a brilliant design, but here, they direct the wiring straight out in a difficult direction to work with. It means your wiring is automatically getting in the way of important things, like your battery or your frame. These plugs, which I've designed, send the wiring in a much more useful direction, giving the back a much more compact form factor in an e-bike situation. They will really help me make the lightning rods wiring as neat as possible, and they will also make my mount systems for these controllers much more functional and let me further improve these designs. The plugs consist of two main parts, a top and a bottom, which screw together, and there will be a rubber gasket in between. The female wiring pins push into the channel, which you have here. The pins are held in by a combination of very tight tolerances with the hole dimensions and the actual layers of the 3D print. The action of the male pins pushing into the female sockets is not pushing them out, or leaving them behind during removal. If there is any concern, you can remove the cap and visually check to see that your pins are seated correctly. The plugs have a firm grip onto the controller and they take a fair bit of effort to remove them. If you are worried about safety, I have designed them with a hole in the side that accepts a bolt and this will go through a small hole in the side of the ASI controller port and that can be mechanically fastened so there's no way they're going to pull out. One of the major advantages I see with this plug is that it's both solid to use and easy to take apart. I had to take apart the MX150 connectors to get the harness wires for this video and they're almost impossible to take apart without damage to either yourself or the plug. With this design though, you just push the pins out and rearrange them. So if you make a mistake, no worries. Prototyping your harness or experimenting, it can be done quickly and safely in minutes. The Molex plugs are brilliant design. Multiple layers of protection, two rubber seals, locking mechanisms for the pins. They're just not optimal for the ASI back controllers on e-bike builds because they stick out at an angle that always leaves you fighting. If you line them up side by side, you can see what I mean. The Molex plug without wiring coming in is taller than the entire plug that I've made that sends them out at a 90 degree angle. My design is probably not quite as waterproof as the original was, but it's as near as damn it. And with a smear of dielectric grease and a bit of silicone, unless you're building a submarine, it's going to be fine. If you do have the existing Molex connectors in your bike, the two-part design means that you can extract the pins and then plug them into the corresponding slots on my plug. One of the neat things about this being a 3D printed part is I can change it in a few hours and print a new version. So right now the wires are going in one direction, but I could redesign it to send the harness wires off in many directions. The first idea I actually looked at was routing the cable off to the one side for maybe the front part of the harness. It's a small thing, but it will help make cable tidying a bit easier. So I'm about 
80% done with these and there'll be more information available online. Thanks for watching and lots more on the LR build soon. Cheers.